These boots are pretty awesome. Man, what was I walking through? What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. In today's video, we are doing another Chasing the Best Work Footwear. In this episode, we're talking about the Brunt Marin 8-inch Soft Toe. So this boot right now is in its full year of review here at the channel. Uh, we have uh, had multiple people in this boot. I've worn this for most of the year, um, and you really can't tell that it's really all that in bad of shape. Um, the leather takes a really good beating. Um, you can brush it out really well. These boots have really held up. So the one thing that I really love about Brunt right out of the gate is their comfort. So if you are one of those weird people <laughs> with those half sizes like I am, and you might be a nine and a half in this boot or a 10 and a half in this boot, well, Marin kind of, or Brunt save, or <laughs> Brunt has solved the problem with a uh, sole that you can take out of the boot. So there's still a sole in here, there's still an insole that's in the boot, and then you can take this out if you're in between those weird half sizes. Great. It says, keep me in for a regular, regular ID fit, or regular to, I don't know, take me out for a more relaxed fit. Okay, so D, if you're a D width boot, yeah, you will leave in the sole. It's a little worn off here, but it says keep me in for a regular fit if you're a D width and take me out for a more relaxed fit if you're an E plus width. That explains it. Okay, great. So if you find that this boot is too tight when you get it, you can take out the insole until you wear it in and then you can put the insole back in and have a nice tight boot again. I really like the insulated uh, the, the insulated leather on these boots. It's really comfy. It's really pliable. Um, I've noticed that the tongue has just got more supple with time. The laces are awesome. Um, they're really durable laces. They didn't go cheap with that. There's some boot companies out there when you buy a $250 pair of boots, they come with crappy laces. So this boot at this price point really knocks it out of the park. I really like the lugs up here, the, the actual wraparound lugs, because uh, you know I, it makes it easier to put the boot on. They also have the holes. If you're, a, if you're a guy that likes to lace your boots all the way up and have the holes, they have those for you as well. Sometimes I don't use all these holes or these lugs. It just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing a lot of crouching for the day, I will lace them down low and then so my so my tongue will fall out with my leg. So there's tons of different ways that you can utilize these boots. They have withstood the test of time. They've been pretty darn good to me. So in the price point, you can't beat it. They're comfortable right out of the box, kind of like Rock Rooster is. Um, I give these boots two thumbs up. They have been around the channel all year and everybody that's put them on their feet has really, really enjoyed them. So um, if you guys are looking at this boot, if you're looking at buying something from Brunt Workwear, uh, don't hesitate. The guys are awesome. They're a small, uh, you know, small family-owned company, and they're really good people. So, if you're looking into it today, uh, absolutely don't hesitate. It's nothing but good things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't have much more to say about them. I mean, how long can I go at length of talking about boots? I, you know. I'm not gonna get all nerdy with the welts and all that stuff. So, and frankly, I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into, and we'll see you guys in the next video.